All right, Colts fans, so we are back here in the off-season breakdowns, and I'm actually rolling out a, a new series here for the site. Uh, yeah, I know another new series here for Stampede Blue, but uh, this is definitely a time of year where we can focus on kind of the micro aspects of this Colts team. And uh, so this new series is going to be called Anatomy of a Play. Uh, basically, I'm going to break down certain play concepts and certain uh, designs here that the Colts ran this past year to success. And so you guys can kind of get that inside look on uh, successful plays. And I figured... Uh, the best play to look at to start this series would be how Jack Doyle was able to get so wide open in this Bills game. Because, you know, when you think of, of Jack Doyle, you don't think of a tight end who's going to beat a defense vertically. You know, you think of a guy who's going to win underneath, be really reliable with his hands. Uh, but Jack Doyle was able to find himself here in the fourth quarter uh, wide open in the end zone on a 27-yard touchdown pass. Uh, so we're going to look at exactly why he was so open. So we're going to go over every single route concept here by the receivers first. And then we're going to talk about why he was able to uh, be so open in particular. So uh, to start off this play, it's going to be Michael Pittman Jr. here on the deep post. Uh, and this is going to work to success here later in the play because he's going to draw away that outside corner. Uh, but Pittman Jr. is going to be running that deep post on the outside. Uh, right next to him is going to be Jack Doyle running an out and up. And this is going to be the main route concept on play side. Uh, it's going to be Pittman running that deep post with Doyle kind of coming off his backside and running that out and up. Uh, and essentially that's your two-man look right there. You're going to either get... Pittman with a wide open, or I guess not wide open, you're going to get Pittman with a one-on-one -on -one coverage over the top and you'll take that shot, or you're going to get Doyle leaking out wide open because Pittman's going to draw guys deep in coverage. So Doyle's doing that out and up, he's selling that out, getting vertical, uh, and hopefully there's there's going to be nobody there, which we, we're going to see on this play is exactly the case. Uh, T.Y. Hilton is kind of the third option that if that that route combination is, is uh, all covered up and Hilton has one-on-one -on -one coverage, you're going to hit him on that deep end. And then when all else fails, you're going to have Zach Pascal. He's going to be chipping that edge and just releasing into the flat. So that's your overall play design here. We're going to go over it a little bit again here uh, with another play uh, right after this one. Uh, but that's your overall play design on how this play came together. Uh, so you're going to look throughout the route. You're going to see Pittman Jr. getting vertical, getting on that post. And he's actually going to draw Trey White, Trey White uh, away from that deep quarter because the Bills are running quarters coverage, which essentially means – uh, the, the cornerbacks and the safeties all have a quarter of the field. Uh, so you see across the line, the Bills have three secondary players all across in their quarters. Trey White actually vacates his area mainly because, one, Pittman Jr. was having a great game. I'm sure that he, he felt that Pittman Jr. was the real vertical threat here. Uh, so he kind of stuck on him. And also, he, I don't think he really expected Jack Doyle to get vertical on this route. If you look at Doyle's eyes, he's really selling that out route perfectly. Uh, he's breaking towards the sideline. The linebacker's on him. There's no real reason to really see that threat immediately. So Doyle does a really great job of selling it. And then you'll see he's able to break back off and get vertical uh, and get wide open for that touchdown there. So I've had a lot of people reach out to me about this play in particular. Oh, let me go back here. Sorry. I've had a lot of people uh, reach out about this play uh, in particular, thinking it was a very unique design and the Colts kind of just rolled it out here for the playoffs, which that actually wasn't the case. Uh, this is a play that the Colts have had in their playbook. Uh, and I actually have access to an old Eagles playbook uh, from 2017. It was a, it was just a training camp install, so it's not like I stole a playbook or anything like that. Uh, but it is an old 2017 training camp install. Uh, and from my studying of that that playbook and that install, you can see some aspects of the, the Colts plays in that playbook. Uh, so I was actually able to find a pretty similar play to this one in the playbook. If you guys are coming here from the Stampede Blue article, you're able to see that. Uh, for all of you who are just on the YouTube page and kind of seeing that, uh, definitely go to my Stampede Blue article that I posted along with this, and you'll actually be able to see a visual of that play. But the play itself is called Gun Tray LT Flex F Peel 3 Jet CH Rattler Pump. And the Colts variation of it is they like to put Doyle in that Z spot, uh, and they don't really do the pump a action on it, but they do like to have the exact same route combinations. That's why it's such a similar play. Uh, but you'll actually see this on a play from last year uh, against the Buccaneers. You'll see Marcus Johnson and Jack Doyle working that exact same route combination. Marcus Johnson is going to be hitting that deep post. Jack Doyle is going to be hitting that out and up. And you'll see that this to it goes to a different player, but it still finds the same success. You know, Johnson probably would like to get more uh, to the middle of the field on this uh, deep post. Uh, but it does work to the same uh, success. You know, Johnson's able to make a great play one-on-one -on -one, uh, because that outside corner sticks on Doyle. Uh, Jacoby Brissett's able to see that Marcus Johnson has one-on-one, -on -one, take that shot. So uh, this is a play that the Colts have run plenty of times. There are other examples I could have thrown in here. But, uh, yeah, this is a play that's been part of the Colts' playbook for a while. 
and they definitely dialed it up at a really good time, and I'm going to play this one more time, but uh, it's a great sell by Jack Doyle, great play by uh, Michael Pittman Jr. to draw that deep quarters uh, corner out of the play. And at the end of the day, you get a wide open uh, Jack Doyle in the corner of the end zone. And uh, although this didn't really contribute to the Colts winning the game, they were they unfortunately came a little short. Uh, it's a nice little design that the Colts kind of had uh, in their back pocket for a while now, and uh, it really worked as success in this last game.